Hi everyone, welcome to Dig Designs tutorial. Today we'll be showing you how to construct a simple CSS navigational menu. Here on our screen we have the menu that we will be constructing today using HTML and CSS. As you can see, it's nothing too fancy. It's, it's very simple. Um, the general purpose of this video is to teach you the HTML and CSS code behind it. And hopefully you'll be able to be creative and, and enhance this code or, or make it your own. Um, so let's go ahead and begin. Okay, we're going to be using CodePen as our online editor. It's a playground where we're going to be able to type in our HTML code, CSS code, and have it preview onto this section here instantaneously. So it'll be very helpful for you to use this in terms of um, playing and editing and building it to your own desires. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get started with the HTML code. Um, as you can see from the page here, we use a certain type of font. Um, Oswald is my favorite font, so we're going to be using that today. You copy and paste this link. This is from Google Fonts. Um, it's basically a link to a link for us to download from Google and have it used in our site here. And that is the link. If you're confused on, on how I got that, you can definitely uh, leave a comment or email me. And I can definitely respond to you on how to go about um, getting this link in there or, or finding that font. Okay, so we're going to start working on our user list. D equals, let's call this drop menu. Okay, now we're going to make our list items. Now our link should go here, but for now we're just going to put a pound as a placeholder. Let's call this home. Close this off. All right. So now we have our first link up. Now we're going to just copy that, paste it about five times. And rename this design. Actually, it's um, four times here. I'm sorry. Web design content management. And contact. So make sure that we close off the UL here. Okay, isn't this awesome? You basically type in, in your code and everything gets edited and previewed on the fly, which is quite amazing. And it's it's awesome because if you want to change anything, you can and make it look a certain way, or you're trying to figure out a certain a certain code. This is a great environment to learn that. Let's see, let me just expand this um, further up. Okay, so looks like let's go back to our menu. See, it looks like we have web design and content management has a a list here as well. When you drop, when you click, when you hover over it, this one has HTML and CSS. Let's go ahead and head over there. There's our web design. So within here. You're gonna put another nested list, okay? Let's scoot that down a bit. Okay, you're gonna make another list. Can I just copy this for simplicity? Paste. Paste. And we're going to close off the UL in here, the nested UL. All right. 
changes to HTML, as we saw on the menu on the other page here. Let's call this CSS. Okay, as you can see, now we have home, web design, and our nested items here. Okay, so far so good. Uh, we're going to do the same thing to content manager. Enter here, enter there. Let's make our UL, our closed UL. Okay, in our UL, we're going to paste this again for simplicity. Uh, this one has Joomla and Drupal. Do that, change this. Joomla and Drupal. Okay, so far so good. Looks like we have our menu coming together in terms of HTML, and you can definitely see it here. Okay, so so far everything looks great um, in terms of our menu list here. Now we can start working on our CSS. Okay, let's go ahead and work on our body. Our font family is going to be Oswald as we picked. Go ahead and put that in. Oswald. Our backup font here, just in case our Oswald does not load up. Okay, let's go ahead and change the See here the font size to 15 pixels and the background color was orange. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and start working on our unnumbered list. List. Okay, so this basically targets our unnumbered list list. Okay, whatever we put in here is going to change that. Let's make this display the block position relative float all our stuff to the left. Okay, for the position relative um, that's going to set us up later for our nested list here. Uh, we're going to want to make this position absolute. Uh, so this basically sets us up for that. Uh, but I do making this absolute here in the menu to make it absolute. Whatever content appears below here doesn't get affected. You know, nothing gets gets uh, messed up. So it's that's the reason why we're doing it this way. Okay. So let's go ahead and start working on our. Well, let's see here. Here's our our nested list. Um, we're gonna want it to not appear. Okay, so by doing that, we're gonna target it. U L L I U L. So it's a the first unnumbered list, the list, and within that list is the U L, which is here. Okay, so that targets that specifically. We're gonna want to display, put none so that it disappears. Okay, and later on we're we're gonna make it reappear as we hover over our our list items. Okay, so I'm going to make some room here. Okay. Okay, so our next one we're going to be using is U L L I A. Okay, this is going to be affecting our link here. And we're gonna add some style to it. Okay, we're making some make some space and and make it look more a little bit more roomier. And make it display as a block. Okay, let's add some padding. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just gonna use two two numbers here: um, 20 pixels and 45 pixels. Okay, now now these two first uh, affects your top padding and your both your bottom padding. Uh, the second number is going to affect your left and right padding. Okay, 
Um, let's go ahead and play with that so you can kind of see what, what happens here. So let's change this to maybe um, 50. Okay, so now we have padding here, top and bottom. Let's go ahead and change that back. And we're we'll change this to like 15. Okay, changes to 25, to 35, 45, I'm sorry. Okay, and that's what it will look like. Um, if you had four numbers here, it would go top, right, bottom, left. Okay, in that order. If you had four digits, okay, that you want to play with. But now we're just going to use two numbers, which is going to be top, bottom, left, right. Okay, uh, go ahead and enter here. Let's make our background color, as you can see here, uh, it's white. So, one white. Okay, now we got we made a white. Okay, so far so good, so good. We're gonna go ahead and make the text. Make sure it's black. Okay, I changed the text. That's black. And since it has an underline, um, the original one does not have an underline. We, use, we change that by using text deck. Oops, sorry, decoration, and put none, and that should wipe that out. Okay, so we're pretty much done with our our links here. We padded it up, changed changed the background, and uh, make it look like what we want it to look like. Alright, so let's go ahead and skip that up and let's start working on our link cover as we as we hover over it. Okay. Okay, so now what we targeted was our first list items okay this is this is our first list items so when we hover over it um, whatever effect, whatever rule that we have here is going to affect that okay so um, when we do hover it we want the background to change to a um, a dark gray here and that's the color code five 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 so colon and then we also want our our font color to change as well so we're going to go ahead and put color white okay see now we're already seeing the changes okay um, if you didn't want a drop menu um, and just wanted a single menu this would do the trick as well so um, you basically accomplish literally a simple menu without a drop down so there you go with that one kind of knocking two birds with one stone um, in that learning aspect okay so let's go ahead and work on our second list our drop menu okay okay let's work on our list hover okay what happens when we hover over our list. Let's go ahead and just target that first. List as we hover affects our next unnumbered list. So again just to show you here our list okay as we hover over it it's gonna affect our uh, unnumbered list okay. That's how we target that. So as we hover over it, we want our second menu to appear. Okay. So how we do that is by typing in display and using that block. Okay. And that should make the second menu appear just like that. Now you notice it does some funky stuff here as, as we hover over it. It, it kind of changes. Here is where we're going to use our position. Absolute. Okay. So that should make it stay in place and and now make it stretch like that as we, as we saw earlier. Um, what else can we look on? Uh, here you see it looks slightly off. Um, we're actually gonna try to fix that by using our margin. Okay, let's try, um, oh, sorry, 
negative 20 pixels going backwards. Let's see what that does. I'm sorry, it changes to left. Okay, so it just affects the left margin. It's like slightly off. Um, let's double this and see what happens. Um, okay, that, that looks great. Um, so it's now lined up. I uh, kind of had to play with the numbers here and, and make it line up, but um, so far so good. Um, the next thing that we should work on is our actual list items. Okay, this is going to be the second list. So now we're going to have to try and target that. Make some more space here. Li hover li okay so this in a way targets as we hover and we head toward our li it's going to affect that um, as you notice here it looks like an even box here uh, we're going to so we're going to set a width okay let's see here let's give it a size let's guess what this could be let's make this like 150 pixels okay so that that gave us a set size for all of our list items um, it looks like our text is slightly off as well we want to make this centered so by doing that we go here text and type in text align center this should align our list items as you can see here now it's at list items so far everything's looking pretty good okay so next we're going to try to change the the link here as as you can see as we hover over here we don't see that dark gray as it appeared on here stationary so we're going to go ahead and, and target that by going to li hover A. Okay, so this should target the the links here. HTML, CSS. Okay, let's change the background to dark gray. Five five five. Okay, see what happens here. Okay, so that changed it to the dark gray. Um, also, it looks like the the font should be white as well. Let's go ahead and change that color white okay so that's finished now we're into another issue as we hover over the second list item looks like we don't have a highlighter here to uh, a, ch a change in color like here uh, which is a, a gray so let's go ahead and target that by saying hover over the first item And then the list here, so we hover over the first item. The list, you want to affect the link here by putting A, hover, open brackets, close brackets, and then we want it to change background to gray. Okay, and let's go ahead and see what happens. Okay, so everything looks great. Um, we just did a, an exact copy of this menu here. All right, so we now just finished our complete, simple CSS drop-down menu. I hope um, by watching this video that you learned a lot about how to create your own drop-down menu using HTML and CSS. I will be making about two videos per week uh, on basic, basic HTML and CSS for beginners. And I hope uh, these videos that I'm making are, are going to help people learn. Um, so definitely please subscribe and stay tuned for the next following episodes. Thank you for watching.